Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys that are tuning in and joining me on this video. In today's video, I do want to focus on how important it is to prep your client before lashing them. That is what my trainer kept on repeating. Make sure you're prepping your client. Make sure that you wash their lashes, number one wash their lashes I, I i understand sometimes you do ask them to wash their lashes and they tell you they do but you never you know by the time they get to your appointment or to your chair you don't know what their lashes have been through and just from the the debris from our pollution and all that you know debris that is in the air it's gonna stick back on their lashes and by the time they are on your chair, they might actually have been accumulating a lot of debris and just, you know, just natural oils that we constantly, that we have in our, in our body. So honestly, just to wash their lashes, take a minute or two. It only is gonna take about two minutes, three minutes the most to wash their lashes i understand sometimes you don't want to you might be in a hurry but it's very important that you do not miss any step wash their lashes just wash their lashes wash their lashes and what i'm using to remove that the soap is i'm using the nano mister the nano mister just to give it a light water mist on the eye instead of just squeezing a lot of uh, water at the at the same time but now what i'm doing is i'm just drying her lashes making sure they're dry 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 so keep on drying i'm drying with this cute little fan it has like little bunny ears it's super super cute but yes and now what we are doing the next step which is very, very important is to protect the clients under um, lash. You wanna make sure that you cover that, uh, that bottom lash really, really good because you don't wanna have accidents where you accidentally glue their uh, top lashes with the bottom, especially for us newbies. I think we have to be very, very careful with that and just take your time with putting the pad and making sure that they are comfortable the whole time she i kept asking her um you know go ahead sister close and i was asking her throughout the whole process i was checking up on her checking with her to make sure that it wasn't bothering her and she assured me that everything felt really good so after I made sure every single bottom lash was uh, tucked down, I asked her to go ahead and close her eyes and she said they looked perfect. One last thing I do want to address is I don't know why I put those patches on the bottom if she wasn't wearing a mask. I think it was just because out of a habit, but Usually what that does it prevent if they're if they're if your client is actually wearing a mask I would recommend you doing this to avoid you know that um, any kind of heat Just mess up the, with the whole process But uh, what I'm doing now is I'm starting to map her lashes right now I'm still practicing and trying to see what works for me But the way I'm doing it right now as a beginner, what I did is I started mapping her lashes and then what I start doing is measuring uh, about three lashes and see what length kind of looks good. Once I get more practice, I'm pretty sure I won't need to do this step, but for now, just to make sure that I'm not putting, that the length is, you know, is good and I'm not just putting it too, too long because we don't want to damage her lashes that's what I did after I measured a few lashes on on one eye I started mapping it with the lane so I wouldn't get confused and then guys the uh, the next step that is a very very important here 
is going to be priming the lashes. You want to prime the lashes because the primer is just going to pretty much kind of like dry up the oils and you know the natural oils that our, our lashes uh, produce. It's going to dry it up so when you're gluing your lash it's just a little bit you know it's going to it's going to hold it tight and it's not going to the oils are not going to be messing with the glue. And now you guys if you do all those steps I guarantee you you're going to have good retention. I'm still like I said I'm a newbie so I'm still working on it. And yeah you guys I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you are new I hope that you go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you could get notified whenever I upload. I'm trying to, you know, come up with ideas on videos and yeah, just join my, my esthetician process, my journey, follow, you know, just my life in this industry and anywho, you guys, thank you so much and I will see you on my next video. Go ahead and comment down below if you enjoy this video. I'm sending all of you good vibes and yeah bye